Hey, what's up? John Sonmez here from simpleprogrammer.com. Tired of pushy recruiters sending you LinkedIn requests for jobs you have no interest in? Tired of blasting out resumes into the dark? If so, you should check out Hired.com. Hired.com flips job searching on its head by having top employers like Facebook come to you after you fill out one simple application. You also get your own job coach to help you on your next job search. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend you at least fill out the application. Just go to Hired.com forward slash simple programmer. And when you get hired with Hired, you'll get double the normal sign-on bonus for using that link. So I've got a bit of a different question this time about getting a SQL job <laughs> with, an I, with an IT networking bachelor's degree. And this question is from John and he says, I was wondering what is the best way to get into SQL administration? I'm getting a bachelor's in IT networking and wondering what is the best way to learn and get into this field. I was also wondering if this is even a good idea and should I focus on networking? And he goes on to talk about that his plan is to work in networking field for a while and then move into SQL. Uh, he heard that networking field will not be in demand in the future since everything is becoming software based and there's little, uh, there's little demand for them since everything is moving to the cloud and not in-house. So he thinks moving into SQL will be a better job secure wise, security wise. So I'd have to say, you know, this is kind of an interesting one because a lot of the advice that I give for 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 software developers in general, software development in, in general, isn't really going to apply here because you're not necessarily going to be able to do some of these things as far as SQL. I mean, you can create some of the stuff, but as a as a SQL administrator or even a SQL de developer, you can't create a portfolio of stuff, <laughs> right? You can't be like. Oh, these are the databases that I created and administered. It's, it's a little bit tougher, okay? It's, it's a little bit different, right? As a software developer, I, I'm going to give you the advice and say, hey, well, go out there and create some stuff, right? Create some projects, to write some code, put some apps in the App Store. But if your focus is going into SQL administration or become a SQL developer, it's a little bit different. So here's what I would suggest in, in this case. Well, first of all, I have, to, I have to ask you this question, which is, are you sure that you want to do this? Are you just looking for like some job that pays money? Like, are you really interested in becoming a SQL administrator? Because if you don't really have any interest in being a SQL administrator, but you really are interested in networking, go the networking route. Don't try to predict the future. Yes, things are going to the cloud, but I guarantee you there's always going to be non-cloud infrastructure. And where do you think the cloud comes from? Where do you think, what, what do you think, you know, do you think that that's just like magic? There, there's, there's buildings in networking, right? There's data warehouses where, where it, it's more complex network. I mean, or, or they've got their setups. So there's always going to be that network engineer role. It just may morph, it may look different. So if your passion is actually the networking part of it, then go down that road. Forget about the SQL. Don't just do that because it, it feels like something that you should do and it feels like something you could jump to from there. I mean, maybe that's the plan and maybe you do that, but I wouldn't try not to plan too much for the future by predicting the future on, on things like this. Plan for, for things that it doesn't matter which way it goes, right? Don't plan on a specific technology. Don't, so many developers plan on a technology going away. And, and a lot of times they're wrong. A lot of times technology doesn't go away, right? I did this video on, on COBOL, right? Which it's still there. It's still there. It'll be there for a long time. A lot of people say it's growing. I don't know if it's growing, but hey, maybe they're right. So don't, don't count on technology just going away. But with, with that said, practical advice for, for becoming a SQL administrator or SQL developer. The, the best thing, I, I think going into the networking and starting there is good. In this case, I would actually get certifications, right? I've done some videos on certifications. Should I get certifications? You can check it out here. But there's a couple of networking like database certifications that I would get. There's definitely a Microsoft one out there. I think there's, I think there's a couple other ones out there. I haven't looked in the, you know, I actually had my MSDBA. Is that MSDBA? I think that's that's it. Uh, when I was getting my Microsoft certification, so I was a Microsoft Certified Database Administrator, uh, but I, I didn't really put that to much use. I just figured I'd, I'd get it anyway since I had I only need, like take one more test, and it was interesting to me. But 
that's what I would do. That's going to prove that you actually have some competency and knowledge there. And then really, you know, there's, there's not really like a, a good stepping stone. I mean, I, I would say that again, you can't create the portfolio, but you can create a blog. So do that, market yourself that way, right? All the stuff I talk about marketing yourself as a software developer is going to work. All the por portfolio stuff is not going to work. You're not going to be able to demonstrate your ability, but you're going to be able to demonstrate your competency by what you write about. Write about SQL administration, write about all these topics, right? It's going to be hard to do it without being a, practice, a practitioner, but you can at least like read books and, and talk about this and maybe you can create a side project. I mean, maybe you're going to, maybe you can team up with the developer and you can work together to create a project or maybe you can join an open source project and you can do the database part of that. Uh, you know, you're going to have to be creative and look for opportunities here. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I would say about that. It, it, it's hard, like I said, to get your first job. If you had a job already and you're trying to improve your career, I could give you a lot more on that because you could get on podcasts, you can market yourself, right? I, I wouldn't even I wouldn't even say that my how to market yourself course is really gonna benefit you much here because you, you don't have practical experience. You, you, your authority on speaking on something is not gonna be very great because you're not actually doing it and it's hard to be doing it because you actually have to have a real production environment. It's, it's, it's kind of meaningless if you're if you're administering a database server on your on your home computer. It's like I mean what does that prove? It doesn't prove anything. So uh, you know, hard, hard, hard one here, but really consider whether this is what you want to do. From your email, it doesn't seem like you want to do this. It seems like maybe you just want to go into networking. And if you want to do that, go for that. All right. If you haven't subscribed already, click that subscribe button below and make sure you click the bell so you don't miss any of the videos that come out. I'll talk to you next time. Take care.